Hi, and welcome to this interview with Gargan Sakaria on how Destiny Science can impact your next book or project. So welcome, Gargan. Thank you so much for uh, spending this time with us and explaining a little bit more about Destiny Science and how it can impact or play a part in our businesses. Well, thank you so much, Kelly, for having me here. I am honored to be interviewed by you. I love working with you, so thank you for doing this. I really appreciate it. Exactly. So let, let me start with Destiny Science. You've got a fantastic question. Uh, let me start with the uh, explanation of what Destiny Science actually is. Um, if people are familiar with metaphysics, you know, there are Eastern philosophies and a lot of metaphysical aspects out there. In the world of Chinese metaphysics, uh, there are five major arts called wushu. So the five major arts are uh, divided into five categories. One is medicine, one is mountain, the another one is divination, one is destiny science and physiognomy. Um, I am honored that I had the opportunity to learn Chinese astrology, destiny science, from traditional Chinese uh, masters. And then I went to Malaysia to finish my certifications. I, I feel that even though I was born and brought up in India, that I probably in my past life was attracted <laughs> to Chinese metaphysics and culture or was an old Chinese soul that died with you know, some kind of a wish. Yeah. Um, so I'm fascinated by uh, Chinese astrology, destiny science, and um, I happen to learn and master two different kinds. So there are different schools in the destiny science program, uh, for Chinese metaphysics, and I'm fascinated by Ziwei Daoshu and Qimen Danja. So they're two different types. Uh, Bodzi is another famous one. So, you know, they're different styles and everybody kind of has a passion or an inclination towards a different category. So I chose Chinese metaphysics, uh, destiny science to master that skill set. Branding and a book perspective, you know, you talked about how this can help. Uh, my background has been in design industry and higher education. Mm -hmm. So I went to undergraduate school and master's degrees for design education, visual communication. So I'm passionate about understanding how visual communication can really uh, empower people and their businesses, or how is it perceived from a client perspective? Yeah. So without speaking, uh, how can visuals uh, connect people emotionally or how can it affect buying behavior so all of this kind of different experience skill sets passion I was able to bring it into building my own business as a high achievement business coach so that, there you go <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing and as you know I've uh, you know been working with you for a while now and I'm just fascinated by you know, how it all works and the, and, and the different, um, you know, ways that you look at things and the different perspective that you bring on things. So I guess, can you give us um, a little bit of an insight into, um, you know, why should we use it when we're working on a book or a project? Why should we be using Destiny Science? What can it do? Great question. You know, when I work with my clients, one of the things that I uh, see and observe commonly is that either they're not sure whether they should write a book. That's mm -hmm. one of the challenges. Like they're not, they're seeking clarity, right? Yes. And most of my clients, uh, they are either uh, established entrepreneurs, they are executives, C-suite, uh, you know, executives, or they are in transition of their corporate careers and now they are really scared to start their entrepreneurship journey. <laughs> yes, we've so, been <laughs> We've been there, right? So. Yeah. My clients, they don't have 10 years or 15 years to figure it out. Mm -hmm. So they're seeking clarity. So one of the things that they come to me is for their life map readings to yes. see if, if there are any stars that I can identify uh, for a couple of things. One, how would the transition go? If they can really write a story, uh, if they can be uh, published authors or how can they really elevate their chi or their energy to attract the right uh, opportunities for them? So I look at their destiny charts and guide them and coach them how to really manifest their desires and elevate their business to the next level. Beautiful. And I know you had this great story that you were telling me about 
uh, branding and colours, and it can go even to that sort of level, that branding level as well. Can you share that story? Because I loved, I loved. Absolutely, when you shared that. absolutely. So um, I had, I have a client. Uh, I helped her birth her book, and I did her branding for the book. So she was part of my branding your book and brilliance program, and she loves red colours. Like red is her favorite color. Mm -hmm. So when I was doing her destiny charts, I, one of the things that I do for my clients is that I create their brand colors. So there are personal brand colors and then there are brand colors for the book. So it's a kind mm -hmm. of a two part uh, kind of a series, but the colors come from their destiny chart. Yes. And the idea behind is that what is it that I need to bring in from an elemental perspective to enhance their chi open up the portals of possibilities to really make their book project and the, themselves as a success out there for people to attract the right client. So she loved red and I told her, you need to stay away from red. <laughs> and she didn't like it because the color palette that I recommended had more blues and whites mm -hmm. based upon the star energies on the chart. Um, she was not happy with it. And, I, and you know, honestly, I have to coach my clients to really see the possibilities and not be emotionally attached to what they like and what they don't like. Because there are two things that I don't compromise in my business. One is quality, one is results. Mm -hmm. And that's all I care about. I want to deliver quality results and I want to create results. Yeah. So the answer there for her was to whenever she is going out for an important meeting or a meeting with an ideal client or writing a proposal or creating her website color, you know, design of it, the book cover, or even when she's speaking from stage mm -hmm. as a speaker, she needs to wear the colors that I have created for her. Because I also do energy medicine practice, so I do energy clearing work around it. Mm -hmm. And I said, she says, Kaga, my entire house is red. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> so she literally gave me a tour of her house on uh, Zoom and FaceTime. Her mm -hmm. walls are red. I said, I'm not asking you to not love red. But when it comes to business, when it comes to really creating an impact with the other person, your ideal client, you need to wear this color palette. And she went and experimented with both the colors that she really liked, how it interacted with other people, whether she was able to close the sales or not, whether people were asking about her business or not. And then when she wore the color palette that I had created for her, that how people just kind of collaborated with her. <laughs> there was this energy of like warmth. Everybody's more curious to come to her. Everybody's asking her about her book that's coming up she saw a really good difference. So what if we don't know if we have a book or um, a project in us? What, um, what do we do then? Like, uh, how, can it, how can Destiny Science work for us if we don't even know if we have this book or project inside of us? So I start with the fact that we, we're doing our Destiny uh, chart life map readings and there are certain star combinations and categories that I can pull and I can I can talk to my client and see that what is their story where they have come because I've not been in their past yes. so the difference between uh, forecasting and what I do with my life map reading services is that I actually tap into their past and understand their their experiences mm -hmm. and where they are today in the present moment and if that's something that they want to pass on to their or create a legacy out of it they need to write the project. Now, sometimes the project is not a book. We might start as a book, but it's basically a digital course. Yes, yes. Or, you know, or it becomes uh, some kind of a lead generation program. So mm -hmm. it's just like really opening up your inner uh, guidance and your wisdom and let it pour, let it guide you through the process. And 100% of my clients come to me because they're stuck somewhere in their life. I got this amazing <laughs> title from my clients that I'm the midwife to work <laughs> their, their books. Uh, so the soulful project that I feel it could be a book, it could be a program, it could be anything. And I'll share a story about Dr. Kim Nugent. Um, she, I mean, I love this woman. She has been my business coach and my mentor for decades. 
and she was a couple of years ago was in transition from her corporate job mm -hmm. and had 18 months kind of to figure out what was the next season of her life yeah. and she was I mean somebody who's worked corporate life for 40 some years it's hard to transition into 100 percent entrepreneurship right so um, this is exactly three years ago um, on her birthday I gifted her life map reading service and I told her that uh, Kim you're supposed to write a book <laughs> and the, your chart says you should be writing a book and your book has something to do with children and she says Gavin this old woman has no book inside of her <laughs> And uh, Dr. Nugent has done amazing work in the field of talent development, coaching, mentorship, training, especially faculty development, because she spent almost 30 years in higher education. Mm -hmm. So she said, I can write faculty development book in my sleep. Should I write that? <laughs> I said, no, because your book has to do something with children. I don't know what that is right now, but think about it. And one more thing, your legacy will be created through these books. Wow. So six months later, she calls me and says, okay, let's start branding. I've written my first book. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was just amazing to wow. see where she was like not seeing it, but then she met somebody within 90 days, uh, was open to the idea of writing a book. And her very first book was about her journey with her stepson for mm -hmm. 32 years. Which is a powerful, powerful story. Like, yeah, and the I book mean, is beautiful, like it's amazing. It's, it's amazing how she got herself to a place to open her heart up, to write a very personal story. And then three years later, I'm working on her sixth book. <laughs> See, that's, that's just such an inspiring story, I think, for anyone who thinks, oh, there's probably not a book or a, or a project inside of me. And I know that you went down the path of, for yourself that you thought you were meant to write a book and then realised, no, you, you created this series of amazing programs instead. And so sometimes we think we know what the right answer is, but um, yeah. something else yeah, underneath that we're, we're unaware of and you're able to tap into that and I think that's that's you know it's an amazing story and I love her story one of the other stories that I really love that you've shared is um, if we've already started our project and we talked about um, a lot of people uh, get stuck um, what how destiny science is used then and I know um, I think it was Georgina is that um, the story that you yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. it's um, I, I really believe uh, that people come to me because they're ready for something different and they're ready for results. They are, there are challenges that other coaches or mentors or even counseling hasn't been able to tackle or they have done enough talk therapy that they see benefits, but they are, they have not free. They're not liberated. They're not on the next uh, phase of their life. So I met uh, Dr. Georgina Hill, who's also from Australia, yes. at an international conference last year. And um, it was fascinating that, you know, there was a, this instant soul spark that we just connected and started talking. And then within like a few hours, she's pulling me to the side to go have tea with her <laughs> to sit down and have a conversation. She says, tell me more about your book service. What do you do? So I told her what exactly I do and how I do it. Long story short, uh, Dr. Hale was working with another book writing coach for almost a year, uh, who also happens to be from Australia and a very uh, successful person, a successful coach. And, but Georgina was stuck. So in a year, I think she wrote like one chapter. Wow. And she was like, Kagan, I know this coach of mine is effective. She's created some amazing results with other people, but I'm stuck. Mm -hmm. And I looked at her and said, because you need to release some energy that is stopping you from really flourishing. And she started crying. And, it, and I was able to tap into exactly where it was, what age it was, what had happened. And I saw all of that on the chart, but I also do energy clearing sessions, you know, distant clearing sessions. So I can tap into the age regression piece of it, which was fascinating. So she did a six month program, just like everybody else does. And in six months, she went from writing one chapter to 70,000 words. Wow. 
and is so happy with what she has gotten and uh, the way she's flourishing, the way she's now visible. I did even art directed a, a local team from Australia how to come up with her design for rebranding of her websites, creating the programs, uh, creating her color palettes out of her chart. And I mean, she has done amazing work and I'm so proud of Georgina, what she has accomplished in six months. And I just hope and pray that I can help more people, you know, that way to get to their next level. I mean, she glows. She says, what did you do to me? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do much. You know, you were open to receiving what I was able to do. Um, so it's, it's, been, it's been an honor to work with amazing professionals across the globe. It's incredible. So, and you talk about the six month um, program. What, what would in uh, that six months entail? Like what, uh, how do you work with someone over a six month period? So I work on quarters. So I, I believe life changes every 90 day cycle. Mm -hmm. So uh, the life map reading, the destiny charts have um, 10 year cycles. The one year, like six months in front and six months in the end is literally entering into a new decade and then wrapping up the nine year cycle and then exiting to embrace the next cycle. So nine is a very, very powerful number. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've seen people really change in 90 days. So mm -hmm. even my, my life map reading destiny science service is 90 day period. Yes. And what people start and what they get in 90 days is like day and night. Um, so in the six month program, in the first 90 days, we are really focusing on their inner chi, mm -hmm. uh, what is happening on their chart, how are they aligned, activating their guardian of destiny. So I, do, I teach chi men danja uh, destiny chart so that they can really empower themselves mm -hmm. and really tap into the right energy and work in alignment with their higher consciousness, which is their guardian of destiny. Uh, to manifest and to kind of create a flow of writing. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I create um, long weekends so that people can all together virtually write together because I'm doing energy clearing at the same time. So they're just pouring their stories out and they're writing nonstop that they can't stop. Yeah. So I kind of do a guided practice. There's a lot of meditation work around it. People don't know how to meditate. So I kind of teach them how to step-by-step -step do that because it's a, it's a balance between mind, body, destiny science, and their branding element style. So there's a lot of work, but um, in step-by-step -step process, they accomplish so much that they start to embrace it on their own, and they are very happy how all these effects start to have ripple effect in their other aspects of life. Yeah. Perfect. I love that. So as the midwife who can help someone birth their book, <laughs> what is this program? Can you tell, tell us a little bit more about the program itself? Yeah, uh, the program is called Branding Your Book in Brilliance. And uh, I'm starting a cohort, a very small group of like-minded souls and people who want to tap into destiny science to really create their soulful project, birth their book, publish it, really do the design and branding piece of it. I create beautiful artwork books that people's jaws, it drops. And anytime somebody looks at the book and they're like, how, how is, I mean, it just captures their energy, their essence, their personality when I'm designing the book. So in my program, it's all inclusive. So you learn destiny science, you learn empowering manifestation strategies, uh, I even launched the book based upon your chart. Mm -hmm. uh, you create the design elements. I help you establish your author profiles or your bios so that you can really mesmerize your audience. And then I teach you how to do the monetization aspect. We publish the book. We help you get to bestseller status. We create social media slides. It's just a full-blown 360-degree uh, cohort project program that uh, my clients have really achieved amazing success that it just opens amazing possibilities for them that even before the book is published um, people start asking about what is your topic about oh my gosh I want a book tell me when it's out so we sometimes do um, pre-launch kind of pre-orders and like 
a lot of people have already bought the book before it goes live. <laughs> yeah. And uh, one of the best things is that we get people to bestseller status within 24 hours of the launch. And as you know, um, my next book is, is definitely uh, being done with you because I have so much confidence in what you, you do and I've seen the results that um, you've done for other people. And I guess my confidence in you is so strong that I wanted to offer something because I know that, you know, you, you do so amazing work with the Destiny Science with, um, you know, um, branding your book and brilliance um, and allowing people to get their gifts out there. And we've talked a lot about how, you know, branding is just such, the way the way that you do it and what you do is beyond anything I've seen with, with what others do. I decided to put together a little um, offer for anyone who does decide to join the next um, intake of branding your book and brilliance i would love to offer uh, for free of course uh, when you sign up for the next intake a half day vip uh, marketing workshop so we look at your marketing for your book or your project that you're doing so that you can put it uh, put it out there because as gaga was saying you know you've said that you you help them with the the branding side with even putting together a lot of that social media um you know visual content how, what do you do beyond that? And I want to be able to help you create a plan for that. So that's my offer um, today that I wanted to share because, and that's one of the reasons that I wanted to do this video is because I, I really love what you do. And I think more people need to know what you do because it's very, very powerful. And you only need to look at, um, if you go to, and I'll put some links underneath this video, but you only need to go and look at some of the work that Gargan has already done with other clients. The books look amazing. and um, and yeah, very, very powerful stories as well that you've been able to help people share with the world. So um, if you want to know more information, please just cl um, click the links below so that you can see a little bit more about branding your book and brilliance, learn more about what Gargan's done with other uh, clients. And of course, when you're chatting with Gargan about the fact that you do want to do branding your book and brilliance, just uh, mention my name and I'll make sure that uh, we can book that marketing session as well. <laughs> and I think one of the things we were talking about earlier as well is um, that idea that you find the people that you trust in as well. And we've talked about that a lot over the, the you know, we've worked with each other for a long time now, but it's that ability that you can refer people to people that you actually trust. And, and um, there's not a lot of people in my sphere that I really, you know, feel 100% confident that they're in good hands when you, when you, um, you know, hand them over to someone else. And yeah. I know that you're one of my one of my people. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So thank you once again for this time and the interview. Appreciate it. Not a problem. Lovely. And if you've got any questions, please reach out to Gaga or myself. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for joining us today.